got to be kidding me. Alright, let's get- what the- Am I wearing this? I'm actually wearing this? Smile. Oh no. That's right, darlings. We're on a quest to bring sunshine and laughter back to every corner of this drab, drab world. Oh, look at them. Oh. Excuse me? Oh my god, so... Top Tears just says, don't be homophobic. This is not being homophobic, this is me... Just... Cringing at the insane... Over-the-top... Stereotype that the Japanese game devs use to represent Silvando in this game. That's what I'm reacting to. Then we better go... Oh my god... It's fabulous! Oh, oh, darling. You look even more adorable than I thought you would. So proud. See, the truth of the matter is, I, I'm one of those people, I'm completely open-minded. I could care less what your sexual orientation is. I say everyone has a right to be happy, you know? But when you're so flamboyantly over-the-top crazy polarizing, yeah. then you could start to get a little obnoxious, I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, come on, see the power of smiles. Oh, those little phenomenon guys and gals are gonna look so happy when we arrive in town. With my, look at my, my beautiful peacock feathers coming out of my bunghole, they're gonna love it. Oh, uh oh, that's actually how I hold these in place. They're actually in my anus. I shove these feathers right into my, my rectum. Or you could spend us some money, give us some extra money. It's a cash grab. Going online? What are you going online? You're going online? Yeah, the online play, online play, online play. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> These are people who live on the fucking internet. Their only power in life is doing shit on the internet. These people wouldn't fucking do a thing like this in real life. They don't have the guts. And they certainly don't have the ability because they would be pounded into mush. <laughs> yeah, again, I think it has to do with being sheltered. People grow up sheltered on the internet. And so now they think, oh, it's fair game to do whatever the fuck you want, you know. But the bottom line is these people would not be able to pull this off in the real world. They don't put themselves into the shoes of the person who they're hurting on purpose. Because then they don't want to look at themselves in the mirror afterward and realize what they've done. People on the internet... Do not put themselves in the shoes of the other person whatsoever. They don't have that capability. Because then what they would have is empathy. They would say, oh man, you know, now I can see from their perspective how messed up this thing is that's been going on. But that's the thing, they, do, they purposely won't even go that far. They won't approach it with a moral, uh, a moral understanding or a moral compass. Because then they'll actually start to feel bad about what they're doing. They don't want to have any kind of conscious, uh, moral uh, responsibility for what they do. They just want it to be free, unbridled, do whatever we want on the internet because it's all jokes and nothing, there's no responsibility and no consequences and not going to think about that. Nope, nope, nope. Because they got to live with themselves at the end of the day, you know. And a lot of them wouldn't be able to if they actually did put themselves in the shoes of the people that they're hurting actively. At least I believe that. My mind is a very logical mind. I'm always nervous that, man, this will be the day when I, I forget, right? The day I forget that I have a back injury, he's toxic. Every fucking day, he's toxic. Every day he's here, he's toxic. I've pretty much mastered it. It's absolutely pathetic, but that's how people are on the internet. I'm not going to sit here and every day start talking about taxes and shit. I'm just not. I want to be here and enjoy games and hang out with you guys and have fun. That's what this is about. It's not about my tax problems. 
even though they exist, you guys don't want to hear about that every freaking day, you know? Even when near the end of the year I need to do some kind of emergency style fundraisers if I have to or whatever, you know, we'll talk about that. Some people get stuck infinitely in this like infantile state. Welcome, welcome my friends. <laughs> Maybe if you were an idiot who got banned from Twitch, you'd be able to, to stream, but oh well, that's what you get for being a negative asshole. There's no reason to play this online at all. It's complete trash. It always has been. I knew that. That's why I knew it wasn't going to be any good. People would be like, I like play online. Play, play, play online. Because they just want to see me lose in a fucking broken game because they're idiots. You might as well complain that the sky is blue, the grass is green, water is wet. Go right ahead because it's just as effective and just as stupid. <laughs> okay then. You don't bite the hand that feeds you, I guess is what you say, but at the same time, when someone bites me, I'm gonna bite back. You don't well, fuck with me, I know how to play this game. I the pig with the hat. It's not because of anything I say or do on stream anymore. It's not, because I don't, I don't violate any policies, I'm 100% in line with, with what Twitch wants from a streamer, and they've told me as much. After I stick the fuck out of this pig. There's, they are nothing without me. They don't exist without Dark Side Phil. I've never in my life felt like I was a celebrity. We'll eat you fucking alive, you chew you up, spit you out, take everything you have, and then run with the money on your on your efforts. Trust me, I know about that. I am not choosing the games, the patrons are. That's why I keep explaining to people. How important it is for you guys to become patrons. You don't seem to understand that these big, ginormous events that will get hundreds or thousands of viewers on stream for seven plus eight hours, right, is determined by like a small handful of people. If you pledge five dollars or more to my Patreon, you have these capabilities. And people take that shit for granted. Oh, oh it's not a big deal. It's a huge deal. It's a huge deal. Elitist entitled fucking attitude. The worst you could possibly fucking have. 
I have no feelings. Once I started feeling my back injury when I got really, really, really bad, um, that's kind of when I realized, damn, I'm mortal. My best to improve don't think for yourself just believe what you're told by some fucking clan member like can you imagine having that life of just being a fucking paid shill your whole life i mean what the fuck man that would kill me shilling 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 it's gross can you actually like give me facts on why the game's good or are you just gonna keep shilling um let's now do the plugs segment of the stream where i do some shameless shilling changed it over the years to make money to shill and make money to children um and that's not what i support you know the thing is they don't even harass me anymore because they know that harassing me doesn't do anything. You know, it doesn't affect me. He's a piece of crap. <laughs> He's a lying piece of crap. I am not all about the money. It's kids. YouTube's main audience is toxic kids who like drama. So that's what I mean. Like, yeah, you're right. My audience, I'm, I realize that my target demographic more than likely is kids. Excuse me, guys. I was disgusting and unprofessional. It's called improvement. It's called self-improvement, okay? Now I'm becoming more and more just about having fun and relaxing with you guys and enjoying games at face value rather than being the guy that has to be the controversial guy who rips a, a new game's a new asshole or talks about this controversial topic and goes on a rant, okay? It's called improvement. It's called self-improvement, okay? I've become a much wiser, much more mellow person. I understand things a lot better. I can now look into perspective. I, 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 I like to try to actively see a situation from everyone's perspective to understand the entire situation. What I found is different perspectives and how people think it could be different and that's okay. It's okay to disagree with me or it's okay to like something I don't like or it's okay to do this or that that I don't particularly, uh, you know, enjoy. And that's fine as long as the thing that you like or your opinion doesn't definitively hurt other people, then it's okay to have it, okay? My opinion is the only opinion. It's the right opinion. And therefore, how dare you disagree with me, or how dare you be so stupid as to not agree with me and that uh, if anyone disagreed with me they were stupid if you disagree with me fuck you block that person you're an asshole deride that person make fun of them publicly lambast them and or is it lambaste or lambast i forget how you pronounce the word but basically make you know make it like they're, they're completely wrong and laugh at them and, and and make make fun of them and i get the feeling a lot of the people who hate me and constantly make a living uh hating on me don't understand the repercussions of their actions. If I were to ever go away, what would these people do with their lives? They'd have no one else to make fun of.
So who gives a shit if anyone watches on YouTube, right? That's kind of the attitude I'm taking. I have to go collect money or something. Quite frankly, if you really want to know the truth, I think the people who, free, who have midlife crises, people who have a very, very traditional formulaic life, okay? People who have a job that they absolutely hate, but they're stuck in it because they need to bring in the money to support their family. You know, the wife and the kids who, yeah, you love them, but at the same time, you may start to look back and say, man, I'm trapped in this life. And if I actually wanted to do something different with my life, I can't anymore because of the life decisions that I've made. I'm now stuck in this pattern. And you know what I mean? That's kind of what causes a midlife crisis. And that's when you hear, oh, the guy runs out and he, he frivolously spends crazy amounts of money to buy a fucking, you know, sports car for himself in the middle of his life for no freaking reason. You know what I mean? I get to choose a horse, huh? Just fucking give me anyone. I don't care. Give me the horse on the left. It's probably the best horse. That's why he doesn't want me to have it. I like that one. Fuck you. Oh, I got my horse. Oh, no. What a greedy bastard. I mean, yeah. In my opinion, people who are open and honest are always going to be more respectable than someone who's just there to take a paycheck and will tell you whatever you're supposed to hear. I'm, I'm a firm believer that you should practice what you preach. I always have been, you know. I rely on you guys to crowdfund me. I want to keep being the Mr. Independent. And that's why I rely on you guys to keep this going. That's all just white noise. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just white noise. And if I look down at the stream chat and everything is tut, 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 it's going to be ban, 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 ban. And then we're going to continue on like normal fucking humans and not idiots. This guy's constantly whining. Wah, wah. Shut the fuck up. God damn. Oh my god. If one little thing happened to me, okay, I would seriously make like a giant vlog about it, ranting and raving, talk about a cash grab. Oh, well, I'm popular, so whatever I'm doing must work and you don't know any better than me, so I'll just do whatever the hell I want. It's not all fun and games. It's not Phil just jumps to his office, sits down, plays a game all day, and then makes money, and it's ridiculous, you know, what an easy living. It's not. And people just want to brush it off as, oh, it's just kitty games, right? Phil just, you know, these people who are content creators could just sit down and play games all day. It's not like that. It's a job. It really is. It's a job where you got to keep track of a ton of shit going on to maintain and keep, make sure that everything's working, you know? So it ain't as easy. It's certainly, it's not one of the hardest jobs on the planet. At the same time, it ain't easy either. You know, people like to like, over-exaggerate and just pretend like, cause video games are involved in a job that is just the easiest thing on the planet. It's not, but you know, it's, it's, it's also not as easy as some of these, these people would make it out to be because they're basically jealous and they want to make it. Oh, 
that's no work or effort or cost or anything put into that. The complete opposite, you know. That's why I'm still here, you know? That's honestly why I'm still here, uh, is because of the fact that I'm adaptable and I can change. Like, there's no effort here at all. they can't actually get any kind of positive attention for themselves in their real lives so they figure if they could get some kind of attention on a streamer stream this is something that at least they got noticed right because they're so insignificant on this planet that they actually think that getting some kind of attention or reinforcement on some random streamer stream actually gives them some kind of value or worth when in reality it's actually quite the opposite. It just shows that they have no value or actual positive worth, uh, you know, in existence. That And they have to basically try to find themselves be known in any way, shape, or form. Okay? It's, it's, it's a, a mental condition when you really think about it. Someone who's just so messed up, their life is so worthless and or they get no value out of anything positive they're doing in their life. In particular, you see it with people who cheer or tip. They're literally paying me to say stupid shit, which makes no sense at all because no one even pays attention to it. And I don't read it out and I ignore it. And basically they're paying me for nothing. And literally they think they're getting value out of something that has zero value. That's really the truth of the matter. That's, that's you know, just being honest about the situation. Um, Yeah, to normal people, that makes no sense. You're going to waste your time watching that entire stream. Then you're going to pay money, actual money, to try to get recognition and they actually think that's worth their time. <laughs> Figure that one out. It just makes no sense, right? It really does make no sense, but that's that's life. The life of a streamer, right? <laughs> I, I'm okay with who I am. I'm okay with the kind of content I put out. You gotta be a pretty big dumbass. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You gotta be a pretty huge, gaping, dumbass in order to do that. And then basically laugh at me. So they're not laughing with me. These are people who are here just to deride me and laugh at me, okay? I'm just tired of it. I can't, I can't babysit fucking kids, you know? You're the one who's causing the problem here. You, yes, you. I don't know how you can't see that you're the, you're the problem.
So if anyone actually wants to talk to me while I play this game, it would be nice. People are talking about Little Pump the Rapper and all kinds of other shit. I have no fucking idea what anyone's talking about. You know, this is a gameplay stream that I like to interact with my viewers. So if anyone wants to like like hang out and talk, I'd appreciate that. Rather than me just playing the game by myself and you guys ignoring me. Or else I don't even know why you're in here. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, you know. It would be nice. 